Hello everybody, my name is Josh from Fuji Spray, and in today's video we're going to get right down to the bare bones of your M model spray gun. We'll be doing a complete disassembly and also identify a few key areas of focus when performing a thorough clean. First, we're going to start off by removing the pressure tube. Then we're going to move on to the cup assembly. You're going to notice that there's two nuts here. There's a smaller nut and there's a larger nut. We're going to be actually removing the cup assembly from the larger nut. The smaller nut belongs to the fluid coupler into the spray gun. And we're going to use the larger cutout, which is number 19 on your Fuji spray wrench. Set that aside, and now we're going to move on to moving the fluid control knob at the back of the spray gun. Here we have the needle spring. You're going to pull on the trigger and carefully slide out the needle, not to bend it. Bring it out to the front here, and we're going to remove the collar and air cap. Now we're going to grab our Fuji wrench and use this cutout, number 13, to remove the fluid nozzle. Here we have the air diffuser, it should slide right out. And whenever you take out this air diffuser, always make sure that on the back, and perhaps even the front, make sure that there's no buildup any debris or any paint. Now we're going to remove the air divider and you're going to gra grab a small screwdriver and then just carefully go from one side and then the other to a point where you're able to wiggle it out. Coming back to the back of the spray gun here, we're going to remove this locking screw to access the fan pattern control assembly. And grabbing one of your smaller Allen keys, unlock this screw here. And there will be some instances where this fan pattern assembly is going to get really tough to turn and much, much even harder to remove. So what you're going to do is get a, one of your smallest flathead screwdrivers and you're going to go and put the head of the screwdriver right between where the plastic meets the metal to a point where you're able to wiggle it out a little bit at a time. You go to the opposite side and you turn it like so. Be very careful not to scratch the surface of the metal and eventually you're able to pull out the entire fan pattern control assembly. You should strongly consider giving this a very thorough clean as soon as you start noticing that it's getting sluggish to turn. Otherwise, the buildup will just continue getting worse to a point where you won't be able to turn the fan pattern control. We're going to remove the fluid screw nut using one of your wrenches and just turn it here. Just carefully take it out. And here's the spindle valve spring. And if you pull the trigger, you will have access on the back to pull out the spindle valve. Now that we've removed all the components from the back of the spray gun, we're going to go ahead and remove the trigger by removing this retaining ring. And 
And now you just can push the trigger pin through. And now you have your trigger out. Now we're gonna get our wrench to remove the needle packing nut and we're gonna use cutout number eight to do that. So you're gonna loosen the nut from here. And finally, we're going to be removing the 90 degree nipple. Get an adjustable wrench. Just give that a good turn. Whenever you're experiencing pressurization issues with your cup um, and the pressure tube looks great, everything looks like it's um, get receiving proper pressure. However, it's still not giving you any pressure into the cup. You may you, you will need to consider removing this component and giving it a, a nice inspection and ensure that there isn't any obstruction on the hole here or on this side where the barb fitting is to make sure that there's f it's free air flowing through this and even into the gun body. And there you have it, your gun is fully disassembled. Okay, now that your M model is fully disassembled, let's put it back together. And we're gonna start off by reattaching the 90 degree brass nipple. And use our wrench to tighten it up. And then we're going to put in the needle packing nut. Now we're going to put on the trigger. You will notice that I'm going to be putting in the needle packing nut first and then the trigger. And the reason we're doing this is because if the trigger was in there first, we would have a very tough time trying to put in that needle packing nut. So it's best that you put in the needle packing nut first. So after the trigger is in place and aligned, you're going to bring in that trigger pin Now we're going to put in place the retaining ring. All right, and then just make sure that it's working just fine. Installed, no problems. Okay, now we're going to put in the spindle valve. and the spindle valve spring. You're gonna notice that it's a little bit tapered, so you're gonna make sure that the fatter side is on the back. Now we're gonna put the fluid screw nut in place. And you're gonna notice also here that it's got a nice little groove on the outside of this nylon component, and that will be a perfect area for that spring to land into. And get our wrench to give it a nice little tightening. There we go. Now we're going to install the fan pattern assembly. And once again, make sure that this is properly cleaned. There's no obstructions on the inside there. And try to lubricate this. Um, it does it does require some lubrication so it, it flows a little better and it turns easier and uh, it'll last you a bit longer. And then we're gonna get our locking screw.
Okay, and let's just test it out to make sure that this locking screw is in place properly and everything's working fine. And it seems to be working just fine. And now we're just gonna test the trigger too to make sure that the spindle valve is installed properly. Everything is great. Let's put back this air divider. You're gonna notice that it's got a little dimple here and over here it'll need to match on a 12 o'clock position. Bring in the air diffuser. Just let that sit there. And then we're going to use our fluid nozzle to lock everything in place. Always make sure that this fluid nozzle is nice and snug. Otherwise, you're gonna have some leaks through the threads and cause you some spray issues. Now we're gonna put in the air cap. Just let it sit there and tighten it all up with the collar. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is put in that needle right in here. Just make sure once again that you're not bending it. Doing it nice and carefully. Now we're gonna bring in the needle spring, put in place, the fluid control knob, and close that in. Test it out with a few trigger pulls and make sure that it sounds okay, it's not sluggish, everything is moving nice and smoothly. Now we're gonna install back the one cork cup. Make sure that the latch is facing the front. Give it a nice tightening with the larger cutout number 19. And finally, we're gonna attach the pressure tube. When doing this, always make sure that you keep in mind that this is a one-way valve and the flat side is towards the spray gun and the tapered side is towards the one cork cup, indicating the direction of the air. And that's how you strip and rebuild Fuji sprays and model spray gun. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-650-0930 or send us an email at support at fujispray.com. This is Josh from Fujispray. Thank you for watching.